Hello, and thank you for joining us today. We've missed you guys incredibly over this last week. Uh, I hope you're all doing well, staying safe, staying hunkered down if you're able to. I um, understand some of you are having to get out. It's a necessity for you. Um, so we will continue to keep you in our prayers as well that you would be able to stay safe. Um, also, I would like to make mention, I think we've said a couple of times, but uh, if you... If anyone in our church family or even in our community needs assistance getting out and getting anything during this crisis, if you're if you're either fearful to get out or if you're just unable for whatever reason to get out, get to the store, get any kind of necessities that you need, um, contact us and um, we have quite a few people in place who would absolutely love to help you um, with that, uh, to, to help serve you, to help be able to get you whatever you need. So don't hesitate to let us know. Now, we gave you a little bit of an update earlier this week, and, and I'll let you know that this Sunday, I'm really excited about what's going on. This Sunday, we are actually doing a team preaching event with Barrett Case from Rich Hill Christian Church and Adam Reynolds from Hume Christian Church. So we're all going to get together. We actually had a meeting earlier this week where, where, where we sat down and mapped out a text. Uh, if, if you want to study ahead, we're going to be studying Colossians chapter 1. Uh, verses 15 through 22, and so uh, we're gonna we're gonna work through that for you guys this weekend. And it's gonna be really awesome. So uh, make sure you're, you're tuning in Sunday for that event for that uh, for that online service. We will have a link here on our Facebook page. We'll also have one on our website. So uh, we'll we'll also send out a link via text message or email or phone call or whatever church alerts you get. Um, we'll make sure all of that gets out there, so, so you shouldn't have any problem getting access to it, so just make sure you're ready for it. Uh, we also made mention in that update, I'm tired of you guys just seeing my face. I know it's beautiful, but uh, I want us to see each other. I'm tired of you just hearing my voice. Uh, I want us to be able to connect with each other. So Sunday, as we're all tuning in to listen to this team preaching event, it's my hope that you will... Uh, Take a, a church selfie, a church picture of yourself as you're watching this church, whatever format you're watching it, maybe on your computer, on your TV, on your phone, whatever you're doing. Take a picture of you and your family or you while you're watching this, and then post that picture in the comments here on Facebook um, of that video so that we can still see each other, we can still connect with each other, we still have a sense of community. Um, we're doing whatever we can to make sure that, that we, we keep a sense of community during this time of social distancing. Um, so, so that's just covering some of the stuff that, that's coming up, some of the stuff that we've already kind of given you an update about, but, but that's what's coming up. And since we're dealing with Colossians on Sunday, I wanted to make sure that, that we gave you some kind of teaching now on Core 52. As we do plan to continue to go through Core 52, uh, Core 52 is still the curriculum that we're going to be based out of for a little while now. Um, so I, I would like to still offer up some teaching, make sure we're reading along, encourage you to continue doing that, especially now that... You have ample time to do so. So, continuing your Core 52. Last week was our second week in it, and uh, we we continued to talk about creation. We talked about what we were created for, how we were created uh, to, to be image bearers of God, how we were created to work, how we were created to, to do all of these different things. And then some of that stuff has gotten messed up. In Genesis 3, which is where we're at now in, in Core 52, we're talking about the fall, the beginning of sin, the beginning of, uh, of this ascension into a sinful world that we now live in. It's pretty obvious right now that we're, that we're in, these sinful, in this sinful world, in this messed up world. Um, so that's, that's what this week uh, of our Core 52 teaching addresses. I, I don't want to spend a tremendous amount of time uh, talking about this. Uh, I just I want to give you a couple of my thoughts and encourage you to, as I said, continue um, exploring this Core 52 curriculum. Uh, but a as you read through Mark Moore's thoughts on the fall, he talks a lot about pride. Talks about how it was it was a prideful lust that convinced Eve to eat of this fruit. I believe that's correct. But I also believe that that there's a sense in there of identity, uh, a sense of uh, a pridefulness that wanted her identity to be rooted in something that it was not. Last week, we talked about being like God. We talked about our purpose is to be like God. Uh, this week in our text in Genesis 3, you actually see that, that being a bad thing. You, you actually see Satan tempting Eve by saying, when you eat of this, you'll be like God, and, and it was not a good thing. Uh, but I think there's a difference. 
And I think when we are created, we are created to be image bearers of God. We are created in some sense to reflect God, uh, to live like Jesus, to be like Him, uh, but not to be equal with Him. Don't get that confused. You're never going to be equal to God. You're never going to know everything God knows. You're never going to do everything perfect as God does. You're never going to be an equal to God. You're created to be like Him, but not to be Him. And, and I think that's, that's kind of where Eve messed up. See, she was, she was tempted by Satan saying, you can be equal to God. You can know everything He knows. You can be just like God. Exactly like God in every way. And, and, and we can't do that. See, I think it, it comes down to a pride thing, as, as Mark pointed out. But I also would add to that, that it, it comes down to an identity thing. And we talked a little briefly about our identity being where our identity is and our purpose being in Christ last week. But there's a certain sense to that when, when we realize who Christ is and we realize who we are, we realize those two are different. We, we realize that, that Christ is supreme, that, that Christ is king, that Christ is in control, and therefore we're not. And it really, I don't want to get too elaborate on it because it really is that simple. When you realize God is in control of the world, you realize you're not in control. I'm not in control. God is in control, and we are not. Matt Proctor is one of the greatest speakers ever. Actually, just uh, me and Stacy, I still get his emails sent to my phone from OCC, the updates, and I actually just got an email last week uh, giving an update on what Ozark is deciding to do with COVID. And they, of course, as every other university has done, has decided to go to online classes. And when he gave this update, he released like a five-minute video with it. And let me tell you, if you want to see a real a real speaker give an update on the situation, and go watch this video. Um, Matt just, he speaks flawlessly. Um, the way he, he mixes words together, it's, it, it's perfect. Um, but I, I one time heard him preach, and... The, there was one thing that he said that really just stuck with me. He talked about uh, God being the great I am. He is. Uh, that is a simple truth that we find throughout the Old Testament, throughout the New Testament, throughout Scriptures. God is the great I am. He is, he is everything. He is in control. He is in control of our lives. And, and Matt said, if God is the great I am, we are the great I am not. If God is the great I am, we are the great I am not. If God is in control of the universe, if God is in control of everything, if God is in control of our lives, we can't be too. And it simply boils down to this. If we truly believe and know and trust that God is supreme, then we have to understand that we are not. That, that we are simply followers. Yes, we are created to be like God. Yes, we are created to be image bearers of God. But we are not created to be equals to God. We are not created to be in control of anything. Hey, yes, we have been given, in some aspects, dominion over certain things. We have been given some control. You even read about this in, in Romans 13, where God says He places authority, um, He places people in authority. So God uh, maybe sometimes can, uh, can, can pass some of that control along to us, but, but ultimately, God is in control. God is supreme. God is on the throne. And we are not. The throne is not big enough for you and God. And, and I think in, in Genesis 3, when, when the fall comes, I think you see it's because there's an identity problem. I think it's because Eve doesn't understand that order of things. She doesn't understand God's in control, I'm not. She thinks God's in control and I can be too. And I think sometimes in our life we think that. I think sometimes in our life uh, we, give, we give God the throne and then we try to push Him out of it when we want it back. And I want to encourage you this week to give God the throne and stop trying to take it back. I hope that you'll continue studying your Core 52 curriculum. I hope that you'll continue studying these scriptures. I hope that you'll continue to meditate on them as we said last week. Um, you could use this time for some, some meditation and some solitude and some aloneness with God. I think that would be beneficial. Um, so hopefully you're using this, this time of social distancing, this time of quarantine, um, this time of isolation. I hope you're using it wisely.
I also hope that you continue to, to stay connected with Double Branch as we are really trying now to, to have a better online presence, to, to really uh, better outreach to you guys as we're all stuck in our homes. Um, so hopefully you stay up to date. Um, if you haven't already, like our Facebook page here, follow it. Um, we'll keep posting some updates and some videos. Sunday we'll have our, our live stream, or our, our, our video, our sermon, um, team preaching event. We will have it premiering here Sunday. Um, also follow our website. Uh, we have last week's sermon on there. We'll have this next week's sermon on there. We have some, some updates on there. So if you want to stay up to date, follow our Facebook, follow our webpage. You can also, um, if you're not already getting church alerts, you can get those via text message, phone call, or email. If you're not already getting those, contact Brother Cody. There is here on the Facebook page, or I say Brother Cody like it's not me, contact me. Um, some of my contact info is already here on our church page, or you can just hit message and uh, send us a message here on Facebook, and I'll make sure that you get you start getting those updates. Um, so continue to have a great week. Continue to stay safe, and continue to remember you have a church family that's praying for you during this time.